Hello everyone, it's Sean from Pre-Fitness and today I'm with Johnny Hammond from Johnny Hammond Fitness. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Of course. So I'm Johnny Hammond, I'm 21, I'm from Birmingham. Um, I'm a fitness enthusiast, uh, currently sponsored by a company called Gym Geek Nutrition and Gym Geek Pro. Um, I'm a former rugby player, which I used to do for four years, and that has led me into the fitness, fitness world, and here I am. So could you tell us what started your fitness journey? So, as I mentioned before, I played rugby for four years for, for Mosley, which is a local side to Birmingham. Um, in that time, my passion was to go professional, that was the aim. Unfortunately, um, I had the opportunity uh, in, in a trial, and like many sports athletes, I became injured. Um, if any of you guys know I, I, of the ligaments, I snapped my ACL ligament, anterior cruciate ligament, uh, tore both sides of my cartilage, also known as the meniscus. So it's a bit of a game changing injury. Um, this meant I had to be in the gym 24 seven uh, doing rehab and physiotherapy, um, which, is, which is what really stemmed my passion for fitness. Um, going from there, areas that really helped me as well was YouTube. Um, big role models, so for, for me it was really Steve Cook, okay. uh, optimal nutrition athlete and now a gym, uh, gym shark athlete. Um, okay. It was really big in the game to change it for me. Yeah. So he stemmed me to get into the gym and sort of go down the more bodybuilding route. Um, so yeah, that, that's really where my passion has stemmed from. Okay, Steve Cook, did you ever do his uh, big man on campus routine on bodybuilding.com? I've given it a go, but um, for me, I just I wasn't that dedicated at the time, but yeah. I'd love to do it. And I'd suggest to definitely check bodybuilder.com out, because yeah. for you beginners especially right. as well, so, it's, yeah. it's so helpful. Yeah. But yeah, um, definitely, yeah. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, as, as you said, bodybuilding.com, great for new routines. I started off on the big man on campus routine by Steve Cook and that led to me actually getting interested in writing a routine, finding new stuff out and getting you know, a good plan ahead of you. I think, I mean, that's very important as well when you're first starting out to sort of educate yourself. Don't just dive straight into it. Um, Bodybuilding.com really sets out in a simple, yeah. a simplistic yeah. format yeah. and is very easy to understand. But yeah, it's, it's a great tool to use. Yeah. What is your 2016 goal? So um, personally, my 2016 goal in terms of fitness is to um, really break into the fitness world in terms of a social media platform. I like to push that. Um, just networking with as many yeah. people as I can because I feel the more you network, especially in the fitness industry with, with like-minded people, it, you just make a lot easier for yourself. Yeah. And it's interested me in a range of different characters with like, different training techniques and it really benefits you as a person. Um, so, just to, to round that off, yeah. potentially get a, a big time sponsor yeah. and push my social media platform, that would be the main goal. Just to touch on that, I have noticed your Instagram account, it's very clean and concise, it has some good information on there as well. Uh, the Instagram I find itself, the videos are very clean, I like the way that you edit in. Yeah. The text, it just works really well for you. For sure. I feel like your social media will grow over the next year. You're going to yeah. go on leaps and bounds with that, so I'm yeah. sure the best there. Thank you very much. I mean, in, in today's society, especially in fitness, social media has become such a big platform. Yeah. So, um, not like to sell yourself, but you know, show other people what you're doing and, and, and how to share it. So, um, if, if if I can do that, that'd be a great goal of mine. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Okay, sir. Personally, for me, my physique goal was I'd like to hit 13 stone of lean muscle mass. Okay. Um, I'm weighing in currently at the moment at 12.4 stone. Uh, in kg, that's around 77 kg. Yes. Um, so personally, I'd like to hit that 80 kg mark, mm -hmm. uh, 13 stone of lean muscle mass, mm -hmm. in a functional manner, because I feel like, um, personally for me and my body type, I'm quite a small frame. Mm -hmm. uh, large mass does affect my joints, yeah. especially carrying my knee injury. I've got to yeah. be careful. Um, so yeah, being functional, being able to run my 50 metre sprint in a good time, yeah. doing 20 chin-ups, even little things like carrying the shopping bags home without <laughs> getting out of breath. Yeah. These things are important to yeah. me. So yeah, that's, that's my aim. So my last goal of 2016 is to carry on learning, because I feel like, to you guys at home as well, like never stop learning if, if you can. It's, it's so crucial to your development and progression. Um, and doing that whilst inspiring others and motivating others, um, I think is a crucial factor. Um, which I'm trying to do through my Instagram page, which I mentioned. Um, but yeah, I feel that's a, that's a pinnacle goal. And sort of, yeah. 
your development, in fitness, in, in life. It's just, it, it gives you transferable skills. So yeah. And finally, Johnny, if you could give one bit of advice to a beginner, what would it be? Okay, so firstly, and I think it's it's first because I think it's probably the most important mm -hmm. is don't compare yourself to anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started out in the gym, I was looking for you know motivation on YouTube, Instagram, and yeah, there are some people with amazing physiques and goals and whatnot, but. You're your own person, like you're Sean, there's yeah. no other Sean on the planet. You've got your own genetics, your own body type, your own progression level. And I feel people can get too caught up in wanting to be like someone else. Just be yourself and you'll naturally progress and, and then that, that's that's the way people then start wanting to sort of follow you. Yeah. So that's exactly right. So for pre-fitness, we were looking for people who were average Joes yeah. who wanted to make a difference in their life yeah. and not always look to the biggest guy in the gym, yeah. the biggest guy on Instagram. Yeah. We wanted people who wanted to be inspired to be themselves. Yeah. And you've touched on that perfectly. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so my next point is allow time to change. Things don't happen overnight. And yeah. for you guys at home who are starting out, in the first 12 weeks of training, that's, that's technically um, when you physically see the most most benefits of training, yeah. you'll put on a bit of muscle mass and you'll think, this feels good. Yeah. After 12 weeks, your body naturally starts getting used to it and you start plateauing. So on, on a graph, instead of going up, you're sort of on a straight line. Um, but that links in to staying consistent, which is my next point, because after 12 weeks, most of us, New Year's, January, everyone's in the gym. First month, great, we've lost a stone. After that, we don't see as many as many progressions and, and we suck it up. Consistency is key. You're gonna have bad workouts, you're gonna have bad days. I'm sure you have, I yeah, have, I've had many. I've had more bad days than I've had good. Yeah. But that's the thing that, it's cliche, but it, it makes you as, as a character. Yeah. And, and that's what will make you stand up for the rest. Okay, so my next point would be, um, educate yourself on, firstly, supplements, because there's a massive market for supplements out there these days. There's so many, some of the ingredients you know you see on the back of these tubs, I couldn't tell you what they are. And I, I bet some of these scientists couldn't even tell you what they are. Um, so yeah, educate yourself because at the end of the day, you're putting stuff into your body. And also educate yourself on training regimes and training types and styles, whether you're going to be doing functional training, you do training to put on mass, training to lose weight. Um, there's a lot of information out there and it's, it's your job to sift out what's what's correct and what's not and I think that's where pre-fitness will, will also help because they'll help you sift out that current information by interviewing people who are, are, are in this industry, have been in it for a while and, and can give you their experience because starting out, having someone giving you real and realistic goals and true information is, is priceless personally. Um, so I think that's very important. So my last point in terms of relating to fitness and the gym would be balance. I think balance is a key word in anything. Yeah. You know, balance, balance your training, balance your friends, your family, your girlfriends. You know, there's 101 lads out there going to the gym seven days a week and their girlfriends are feeling all right. <laughs> so make sure you balance because it, it's very important. Uh, and that goes to education, university studies, whatever you're doing. I mean, even if it's just like going out with you, like on the town, like. Yeah. Every night you're going to ruin yourself, so I balance with that as well. Okay. Uh, and that, that quite nicely moves us into our next area, which is sort of general life. So okay. take risks. In the gym, it, it's easy to do bad form. And yeah, taking risks may not be sort of the best generic advice, yeah. but I'm saying it in terms of, you know, if, if you feel you can get an extra rep out safely, push yeah. that extra rep out, yeah. and you can transfer that across to everything like I've just said. So when you jog, take risks. Because Muhammad Ali said, I'm not going to quote you word for word, but those who don't take risks will never succeed. And I think that that's very true. And lastly, just to round off these general life points here, strive to achieve, um, and that links in with risks, because if, you, if you're not progressing, you're not achieving, you, you just get to a point where you're sort of plateauing in life, and, and that, that's a boring point. Uh, and lastly, that links into do not give up. Um, as we said earlier on in, the, in this interview, we are going to have bad sessions. Yeah. Um, like I've said, I've had more bad sessions than I have had good. I've had more bad rugby performances than I have had good. Mm. Um, but you need to, you need to not give up. Yeah. Um, all the greats, all the the role model footballers, bodybuilders. Yeah. You, you don't understand. Behind the camera, there's an actual person there yeah. going through real life experiences and they've had bad times, but they they haven't given up, and it will just yeah. make you stronger. 
great stuff today. Make sure you check out Johnny Hammond Fitness on Instagram. Also, make sure you check out Pretty Fitness and all the links that will be coming up on the next page. Thanks, guys.